542 now in the 608 this morning. We're staying on the ground, getting a tour of the last <laughs> certified railroad station in Wisconsin. Josh Ryder live at the Milton House Museum and uh, is talking about the history there in the community. Pretty cool stuff, Josh. Yeah, it is, guys. Good morning to the both of you. We're getting our next leg of the tour here of the Milton House Museum, and Keen Kloss is here with us this morning. And talk a little bit about the space that we're in right now. So this is a room, if you were going to stay with the Goodrich family in their inn, this is about the room you'd expect to see. They had six rooms when they first built the building, and then in 1867, Ezra's son, or Joseph's son, Ezra, builds the third floor, so giving them 12 rooms. But you could fit a lot more people because you put a lot of people into one room. So today you go to a hotel, you have the room to yourself. Back then, in a room this size, there would have been maybe five to six guys sleeping all in this one room. And this is a pretty small space. It's a pretty small space. It's pretty tight with just us in here, and you'd probably have to share a bed. Some of you sleeping on the floor, but at least you weren't on a horse or in a wagon, so it was yeah. comfortable. And yeah. what makes the space unique, and we can kind of see that out there, is this is kind of the hexagonal shape you were talking about earlier. Right. So the center, the staircase comes up around the chimney, which was good. It helped keep the heat inside of the building that would share it um, and then yeah you can see each room kind of goes off on that hexagonal side so um, and then as we come through this space which used to be a, um, the sixth room on this floor when we became a museum it kind of became a hallway space um, but it would have still had a door leading out here into what we think is the Goodrich which was the Goodrich's apartment okay so we'll head into that space so the Goodriches never built another building. They didn't build another home. They lived here. We believe this was their apartment. Um, had easy access for them to take care of the inn. Um, and so we recently just got this room back on the tour as of last year. Um, before that, it was kind of just a storage area. So we did a lot of, um, we refinished the floors and then we've updated all of our exhibit space in here as well. So this is the last certified Underground Railroad that you can tour here in Wisconsin. Yes. You know, how significant is that for you guys here as a Milton community? Um, I think it's very significant. There's a lot of pride in the community that this town was founded on the belief of equality, not only with um, the Underground Railroad, but Joseph also builds a college, Milton Academy, and it runs as Milton College until the um, 1980s. And that was allowing women to go to school right in when it was built in 1844. So Joseph really felt that you should be judged based on your character and nothing else. And I think that's something that's very... Uh, Milton is very proud of. So this is a space that you can come check out today. What do people yes. need to know if they are interested in coming for a tour? So I definitely suggest following us on our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, Milton House um, is our handle. That's where we can keep most up to date, but obviously our website, MiltonHouse.org, you can check that out. Always give us a call um, and come see, come see us. All right, well, Keaton, thank you so much for showing off this space. And of course, our time just getting started here this morning. Coming up here in a little bit, we have a cool mural we're about to show you and hopefully if our service is good we're going to check out the tunnel too that's a <gasps> must stop on the tour list guys so much more ahead here in our six o'clock hour oh i'm such a sucker for history but a tunnel boost that signal we want to see it a little spooky on here tuesday morning all right josh thank you very much <laughs> remember to let josh know what inspires you in the 608 he'd love to hear from you a lot of his ideas come from viewers just like you you can reach out on social media or shoot him an email in the 608 at WICTV.com.